up guys welcome back to the captain's vlog we are here agate marina and on today's mission i'm gonna take this guy out his name is brayden say what's up brayden hey what's up so brayden came out with me a couple days ago um he's never been saltwater fishing he's been fishing in the lakes and stuff like that and it just so happened we hooked him up with some really nice wahoo how yeah, many did we, we caught, get uh, we caught six wahoo the the last time that we came out here um yeah, it was pretty pretty fun. Uh, first time catching saltwater fish. It was a good experience. Yeah, did you did you get a chance to eat it? Uh, I did. I did. Yeah. What did you think of it? To, I got to eat one of them. It was uh, it was really good. Better yeah. than better than fish that you can get out of a grocery store where I live. There you go. Yeah. If you guys don't know, I'll check out the picture right here. I'll put the picture up of a, his catch. We had like six wahoo. Wahoo is probably one of my favorite pelagic fish. But that's not why we're here. He leaves in a couple days. And just so happened he came across my YouTube channel and saw some spearfishing and said, hey, can you take me spearfishing? Yeah, let's go spearfishing. So here we are. Check it out. We got the guns, the fins, the gear, the floats, and it's his first time spearfishing. He does have a little bit of scuba experience. I, I do have a little bit of uh, experience with uh, diving. Um, I'm uh, PADI certified. Um, I've uh, dove in the past, never been never been free diving before as far as uh, you know spear fishing goes. But uh, looking to learn seems like the right guy to teach me. So, all right, guys. So you're gonna kind of get a firsthand experience of how I teach. I'll do a little briefing when we get to the spot, and then as we dive and get on some fish, I'll kind of narrate the steps on how to do this. So, all right, guys, stay tuned. Let's go. Get 
get suited up and we will see you guys underwater. Let's go. Okay guys, before we get any further, just a reminder, this is Braden's first time ever free diving, yet alone using long fins. So there is a lot of beginner mistakes going on in here, but hey, it's his first time, give him a little bit of credit and let's see if we can get him a fish. Get to the bottom and lay, and like kind of hover on the bottom and be parallel with the fish. Okay. Or you can dive bomb, and dive bomb is where you basically you just hang straight at the fish and hit it from the top, like step from above. That's what they call it. Okay. That's a dive bomb. I'm just worried about like bending the. Yeah, so you you want to make sure you you judge the distance before you get there. Don't wait till you're there and you're like, oh, it's too close, and you take the shot. You want to be able to be like hovering, a little slow, and then you see him come up, boom, hit him. You know. One advice I would give is to learn the proper duck dive of free diving. You want to be able to get your fins below the surface and be able to start your propulsion without exerting too much energy. After multiple attempts of trying to get below the surface, Braden goes on this dive and I think attempts to shoot a fish right here. Takes a shot and misses his first fish. That was pretty close, man. Good job. fish today we were targeting is going to be the surgeon fish or locally known as a gupao. It's an easier target for Brayden. The other fish were being a little bit sketchy so we decided to make it a little easier and try and get this guy on his first fish spear fishing. That was really close. You hit him actually. Yeah. You hit him but it was good. It so after multiple attempts of trying to get the surgeon fish, we were slightly unsuccessful with a few misses. So I decided to break out the chum, see if we can call in some fish. Um, some small fish came around. Braden took a shot on a smaller one, missed again. I <laughs> hate, still learning. We're gonna get him. Here's Braden peeking into a little shallow crack here. Takes a shot. I think he gets his first fish. Pulls it out of the crack. It is a black surgeon fish. Congrats, Braden, on your first fish. It may not be big, but it's definitely gonna be eaten. Well done, buddy. You finally got one. Finally got something? Yep. It takes a little practice, but yeah, you gotta practice your aim, your hunting, and your stocking skills. But you got a small one, but you got something. So here I am trying to show Brayden how to stay relaxed on the surface, very calm. I take a deep breath, do a nice proper duck dive where my body is vertical. Try and keep my body straight up and down, tucked in as streamlined as possible. And once I get to a sink phase, I make my way right to the bottom where I lay and wait for the fish to come in. Right here, I'm laying on the bottom in the corner of my eye. I see a trevally come in. Take this nice sweet shot right mid-body. 
secured a nice fish. So this fish will eventually go and be eaten. Hopefully Brayden enjoyed this fish on his last night on Guam. I'll watch as I fight this fish up to the surface. Nice calm, keep the line away from you at all times so there's no entangled. You wanna try and slowly grab the fish and dispatch it. And we have dinner right there, a nice yellow spotted trevally. All right, guys. Well, that was quite the challenge. <laughs> you know, I it I told him, I told everybody, spearfishing on Guam and spearfishing in general on a breath hold can be difficult. And you guys saw it right there. Braden had a tough time with the diving. I try to work on uh, diving form, learn on your duck dive and how to be efficient with your fins. Make sure you're a little more streamlined and uh, fish don't spook as much. If your fins are in the air and you're splashing a lot, you know, that can tend to scoop the fish as well. But, oh, yeah. but we got a few fish, we got them to shoot that, and then I was able to secure a trevally for uh, dinner tonight. But um, what'd you think, Brayden? Uh, a lot to get used to the longer fins. Yeah, and uh, sure. I don't know, it's just uh, it was a lot harder than I, than I really thought it would be. A lot harder to anticipate where the spear is really going to go. And, you know, it's uh, it's more difficult than it looks, to be honest. Um, uh, yeah, I'm uh, grateful to be out here in Guam. Um, it's a it's a beautiful place to go. You know, diving, fishing, whatever. It's just a great outdoors place. And uh, if it wasn't for uh, Captain Ron here, uh, I wouldn't be able to do any of this stuff. So I'm um, very appreciative of that. And uh, any of you guys that end up heading out here, you should definitely go and uh, say hi and ask for ask for some fishing advice and have him take you out on his uh take you out on his boat it's definitely definitely worth it Steph well thanks for the for the kind words and testimony you know i try my best to you know be very versed on different fishing techniques and as you can see in this channel you know i cover spear fishing trolling there's all different kinds of techniques that i can do and you know this is this is a good one if you, if you guys are really enjoy swimming and getting the water you know, you know i can give a little bit of advice and get you guys on some fish hopefully i got braided on two it may not be big <laughs> but it's two more than one mission accomplished Definitely. Definitely got some fish, so. all right man. <laughs> all he wanted was to get a fish and we got it all right guys well thank